I often say to um, my students that design is a social act. Uh, we're designing for people. Uh, when we have a design exercise, we start with who's going to use this place um, and trying to understand them and understand their needs. And so we're always thinking about how the places that we design um, are going to enable people to use them, enable people to interact with one another, um, enable people to withdraw and have a quiet place where they can be alone. Um, so it always comes back to people. And I think that's, for me, one of the great aspects of uh, teaching our, our students about landscape architecture. Of course, it's a lot about the materials and the, the plant materials, the vegetation, uh, the water, the hard paving, um, the furniture, the lighting, all of those things have to come together um, to work well to make a social space. And I think increasingly as more of the human species are living in cities, we need to create spaces that are really amenable to people being together in large groups, um, places for people to move around safely and confidently, uh, making places for children and young people to uh, be part of the city too, looking for um, how we incorporate places that um, allow for a diversity of people to come together and use them in flexible ways. So it's, it's not designing a place to be just one kind of activity, to have just one kind of activity, but to really have a multitude of, of activities. And I guess that's the great challenge for landscape architects who work in urban areas now too, is really finding the way to uh, provide those social spaces for people that are still comfortable, um, that are accommodating of nature, um, and that lift our spirits. I think if you ask our students what they, uh, what they remember the most, it will be um, individuals, it will be um, experiences they've had with each other. Often when they've gone on excursions or on field trips, um, that sort of experiential learning has a big impact and uh, it sticks in their minds for a long time to come. They'll also remember a few all-nighters. They'll remember uh, heading over to McDonald's um, at all hours of the night uh, for supplies. Um, but hope, I think the main thing is that there's a great sense of camaraderie um, amongst our students and there's nothing like a few all-nighters in the studio to build that up. If you're thinking about a profession that is not only going to be meaningful for you and take you interesting places and doing interesting things, but also a profession that will have a great impact on the world and on the quality of life for other people, then I think landscape architecture really is a profession that you should give a lot of thought to. You'll learn a lot about um, the natural world. You'll also learn a lot about the social world the world of human beings and how human beings interact with one another and you'll learn about the built environment in general. And in our faculty you'll also be working with other students who are learning about other aspects of the built environment. So you'll be working with architecture students and interior students and planners and starting to understand at a very early point what it means to collaborate with people across disciplines. And that is so important in these days when the issues that you're going to be dealing with in your life are very complex. Uh, no one profession has all the answers and we will be introducing you to um, how to collaborate with people to come up with better solutions for, for the future.